This is a thread painted butterfly. My name is Terry White, and this is a picture of me when I look pretty good. So, this is the thread painted butterfly, and here is a picture of my, the original drawing and some threads that I used. So I traced the main shapes from the original drawing and then I traced that onto some muslin, hooped it with stabilizer, and I'm going to begin to stitch. So I'm using a variegated green thread here. By using a thread with all of these different colors, I don't have to have four or five spools of green thread, I can just use the one thread. So, to learn all of the basics of thread painting, I have a class on Blueprint, formerly Craftsy, and it's called Free Motion Machine Embroidery. And it tells you everything and shows you everything you need to know, how to set up your machine, what needles, threads, stabilizers, fabrics, how to hoop, and how to do different kinds of stitching. So, as you can see here, I am doing some long stitching and then sometimes I stitch when the color changes in one area so that I get a, get a concentrated color. I love using the variegated threads. It's almost it's almost what I use all the time. And it's 100% cotton. This is a star cotton that I'm using here. So here we've got um, the green parts on the butterfly. You can see that they're not exactly the same because of the color changes. But it's a lot prettier than a solid flat green. So now I'm starting on the little circle parts and I'm starting with an orange variegated thread. And you can see, so I like to do small areas of the circle at a time so I don't distort the fabric. So this um, this drawing they originally made uh, was using markers and big shapes. So the finished design is going to mimic that, not be like highly uh, detailed, but big colorful shapes, kind of like a coloring book sort of idea. So I'm filling in with the variegated yellow. Using the orange at the beginning set the shape for the design. Okay, so then now I'm, I've come back in with a really pretty bright red variegate. I love this red. It's also a star cotton. It's some um, tomatoes, I think. I designed that thread for star cotton. That was pretty cool. Thread painting is super fun. I can't hand embroidery anymore because my hands are shot. So this is the closest thing I can do to hand embroidery. So I'll show you something in a minute. So here we go. Now each time I change color, I cut the threads in between. So here is a thread that has um, orange and purple and pink in it, and it's really pretty. And it's a, um, oh, superior thread, a king tut. It's got a really pretty look. So that just sort of shades and darkens the bottom of the uh, butterfly wing. So <clears throat> this is a pink to white, or almost white, thread with a long color change. So you're going to get long areas, big areas of color. And the way that you move the hoop underneath the needle is really important because um, that is how you do the embroidery. But you can see that the direction is real important. You're getting these striations of color. And if you just stitched all, all around, you'd get a totally different look. If you just like scribble stitched or something. See, you get these long striations of color, really pretty. Then I do something a little different. 
Okay, so now I'm stitching around the circle to sort of define the edge of the little orangey, red, yellow circles. So you can see that I'm stitching into the scallop. That gives you a different kind of look on the that part of the butterfly wing. And then you can create shapes too. This is almost like a little paisley shape that I'm creating with um, the different color changes. So thread painting gets better and better with practice. There's the upper part of the wings. Now I'm starting on the body of the butterfly. So this thread is got blue in it and it has some purple in it too. So I didn't draw the antenna. I'm just uh, uh, originally, but I'm drawing with the machine because I have a lot of practice and I draw so I can do this. Um, I'll have the picture of the butterfly on my website. I'm thickening up the antenna. And then I'll do the second antenna the same way. I like things a little off. I don't like things perfect on, on both sides. Uh, it, to me, it's got more life when it's more lively to me when I don't make things super perfect. Okay, so now I am over stitching on the body with a thread that has yellow and orange in it. And it's a big zigzag. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Get a, just a really cute detail on the body of the butterfly. So uh, now I've rehooped the butterfly and I'm doing the bottom part of the wings the same as pretty much all the techniques are the same as the top that you saw. Going around with the red. Now I want you to notice how gently I hold the hoop. I don't grab it. I don't press it down. I'm guiding the hoop and this is how uh, I can do this for hours and hours and not fatigue my hands. So if you've ever tried to thread paint, the important thing to me is try again, okay? Because you don't ride a bike the first time out. A lot of different things you don't get good at the first time out. But the more of the pra you practice, the better you get. But I would really, I really think it'd be a good idea if you would take my class because there are so many basic things in, in, with setup that really helps so that you can have true success. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Here's the butterfly.